Big Show Wiener Shakers. To get involved, please call 302-BROADCOM. That's 302-729-3664. 302 Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go! And now, hold down your pants and squid box your gutter ghouls. Because we about to blow the lid off of this bitch. It's the Wiener Shake Show. And now, here's Greg Wiener. And Imran Sheikh. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to episode 24. We are unfortunately sans Imran Sheikh. So tonight we are just going to wing it. We're going to have some guests in the studio tonight. We will make do and see how horrible I do without Imran Sheikh. So welcome to the Wiener Sheikh Show. I'm Greg Wiener. Imran Sheikh will be here uh, never. Last I heard from Imran, or as he despises me to call him... He literally messaged me after I messaged him. We were scheduled to record at 1 a.m. I said, hey, ETA, you know, trying to be polite, no animus. And he said, the MTA is fucking me. I've been on a train for five hours. And he said, can you give me 40 minutes? So I don't know if this was him estimating when he was going to be off the train. I don't know if he was on the train. I asked him, I said, are you on the train now? Because, you know, I'm trying to live my life. Imran just gave me a... Thumb up emoji on our Facebook instant message. So, bonsoir. That's it. That's all we have of Imran today. Oh, I'm getting wet down there. Here we go. Imran, do you love your mom? I love my mommy. Okay, good. Imran, would you like to mock me? Yeah, my name is Greg Wiener. I'm an actor. And how would you talk to me if you wanted to fuck me? Or while we were fucking, how would you sound? Oh, yeah, good. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm I'm going full force right now. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I didn't get sick at all. Right. So, and how's that dick of yours? I mean, we're talking running out of skin erection. Well, that's a big erection, Imran. It's real big. Boy, wow. Damn, son. You just hit with the wow effect. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Imran is here. Holy shit. <laughs> Hello. Oh, man. Hey, man, I, I started the podcast without you. Fuck that. Well, I didn't know what your your status was. I didn't know if you were still on the train, if you were going to be... Uh, I don't, I don't know. know what my fucking status is. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Don't scream. Don't scream. Just breathe. Did you have a shower? Did you have a shower? No, I didn't have a shower. What do you mean? How did I have a shower? Well, I don't I just know. Just got in. I, I know, but it's it's hot today in New York. I know because Tom Hanks is there. If you were stuck in a train, yeah, and- I know Tom Hanks is here. We hung out today. Obviously, I know Tom Hanks is here. So it's a it's a cranky South Asian I got tonight at uh, two o five for episode twenty four. Put it no, together no. for twenty four. Are you upset? What happened? In in brief, uh, summarize what you've been through. What harrowing experience did you? survive it's not it's not even that it's not even that i'm just i'm just distressed why I'm stressed out. why well because last night i had a dream that i was living in an apartment with jane doe and the violinist damn son you just hit with the wow effect is that the movie phone guy what the fuck is that no let's listen movie to it again phone. Anyway, like damn any, son record. you just hit with the wow effect no it's not it's like some dumb radio station drop i found on one of these drop drop things i like the damn no, that's, son that's, it's really exaggerated that's what now you that's like it the movie trailer no that's not the movie trailer guy it is Hey, um, I'm distressed. So I'm distressed, man. I'm so. Is that why you're distressed out. because of the uh, dream, or because you said? Did you really sit on a train for five hours today at some point, or were you just uh, getting your excuses in line because you knew you were going to run an hour and a half late? I was on four different trains. Over the course of five hours. Yeah. I actually, as soon as you said that, I'm like, is he lying? Is he making it up? And I went and I searched, and there was some MTA shutdowns. So. I'm going to Thanks. accept Thanks. your uh, your your um, excuse and uh, bless. Last time we recorded, yeah. Okay. Well, no. Uh, right. I mean, can can I talk, well, or I mean, do you want to sit here and cat, interrupt? Catch out of the bag, right? I mean, it, it, just for our listeners, a little background. There is a lost episode, basically, which was aborted. We uh, we uh, made the call to uh, put a coat hanger up its butt, and uh, we took it out. We took it out, threw it out. We 
we kept the placenta, kept all that's good, the nourishment from it, but the actual fetus no, itself was... No, we got, we got no nourishment from that track. fucking episode. No, what happened? We almost, I, if, I, if I can take over for a second, I almost quit the podcast. I hung up with you. Right, yeah, exactly. If we want to log the amount of time I've put in and you've put in, but we don't need to get into that. It was the Greg Wiener podcast, and then I allowed you on. You don't. Here we go. Here we go. Imran, it's like it's like go. you walk up to a angry. tiger who hasn't eaten all day, and you dangle a fucking yeah. bloody okay. piece of meat right in front of him, and then you pull it away, and you're like, hey, 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 you can't have shit, and you yank on the tiger's chain, and it fucking chokes him and makes him even more angry. I'm not going to get yeah, angry. Up, I am not going to get angry. I'm not going to get hot. Oh, shit. The star of David around his uh, neck is, is, is on fire right now. Uh, well, we did, we did trash an entire episode, an hour and 15 minutes, because I could not get by how horrible it was. Well, to be clear, what was horrible about it was the internet connection, because we kept on getting broken up, and, and I Imran, was... Imran, by the way, you sound terrible right now. You sound terrible right now. Before we continue, I'm okay. not even kidding. You, you're, you're, the quality is really diminished right now. What the fuck do you want me to do, Greg? I don't know, but it huh? sounds it sounds worse than it did on the episode well, that we were talking about, where... I'm at, I'm at, not, I'm a hun- I'm at 100, bro. You want me to, like, I move to fucking Chinatown, get some Chinese guy to look at this? What do you want me to do? I'm going to take a break, and I want you to get listen to it. Hold on. Hey, what's up, bitches? Yo, this Dick Jones, and these motherfuckers ain't going to let me get up on this podcast unless they deign it, so I don't snuck up on this computer while Greg was taking the shit, and I, I, I edited in this little commercial for myself. I'm Dick Jones. I'm 450 pounds. These motherfucker punk-ass bitch Indian and Jew-ass motherfucker, they ain't going to let me get Get on this radio all the time because they're afraid I'm gonna steal that spotlight. But it is lucky that I'm a big fella and I can't I can't get around too well. Oh oh there anyway, there go Greg, he about to fin up run up on me. I'm I'm gonna dip. I love y'all bitches. Suck my balls, Imran. I love my mommy. We now return to the Wiener Shake Show on the Greg Wiener Podcasting Network. Oh, I'm getting wet down there. What did you just say to me? I'm not gonna repeat it because I really don't want that to be used. Okay. I said a name and I, refi- I, I no, didn't mean to I call didn't. it. To, no, no, no. Hold on a second. Cause you just yelled at me. Yeah, I did. Well, cause it's the only way to be, to get you to stop fucking saying it. I try to be nice about it. You've never, no, I, I you've never been nice about this. Even the first time I right. called it as a name of endearment, I, I was immediately, I, I was yelled at. Don't you dare call me that name. I will not be called that name. And, and it got very dark and very intense and Imran's eyes got dark and black and he was on a camel fucking swiping his fucking saber around weren't you Greg this is it this is it that's me riding on a camel with a saber yeah no I, I kind of liked my version better the high definition version listen to that Imran that's not the saber dance. Don't call me that name. All of a sudden, he turns into Marty McFly if you call him a chicken. Jesus. <laughs> All right, champ. That is that is my chick. Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And you can attest to this. And I, you know I don't like talking about myself in a positive <laughs> way ever. But okay. you know that I'm a very easygoing guy. Right? Is that fair to say? Is that fair to say? Except when you get called a name or you fuck up on stage. That's the only time I've seen you rage or episode, the lost episode, we'll call it now. Right. Where I saw so you truly get hot. So there's three things that get me hot. Fucking up on stage, that getting called that name, mm-hmm. and getting interrupted or, or having my flow messed with during a story. Mm-hmm. Or joke or whatever, which is what was happening. I want to I want to make it clear to our listening audience yeah. that the reason why the episode sucked was because I was accusing Greg of having a shitty internet connection, which was breaking up my flow. Because like I was trying to say, I I kind of took over the show a little bit because I had a whole thing pl- like not planned, but I, I I got up on this groove of of a nice kind of 
thing that I was doing with a song and it was going really well and have I you, really liked it. Have you listened to that episode that I put up on our Google Share Drive yet? No, not okay. at all, no. Okay. I think before you sit around and talk about it in such glorious terms, I think you need to go back and listen to it. We've done uh, 20, let's see, this is episode 24. 24. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. We're not going to hit a wall. Man. It's crazy that we've done this many. I, listen, I mean, it's a testament to me. I'm really stressed. I'm really stressed out. I don't want to ask because then you're going to just start talking and talking and talking, and you're going to take no, over ask, the whole please. thing. I won't. I won't. I, I'll, I'll be. A, I'll be a considerate sidekick. Please. I ask. can't wait until I can control your individual level, and I can just turn you off and then talk. <laughs> I, I'm seriously considering coming up there. Well, you said Tom Hanks is up here, which I, I she know is. she is. But for yeah. our listening audience, can you explain why Tom Hanks is up here so no, they know? No, you, you want to? Oh, you know, our listeners want to hear all about that. It's private. I mean, we've heard about all the Wiener trage- tragedies. Drink your water out of what looks like a blue mason jar, and you're frozen. You're frozen, and you're not frozen again. I'm not frozen. I can hear you perfectly. (laughs) Don't worry about moving away from the microphone, Imran. Just sneeze your disgusting fucking mucus all over the the fucking windscreen and completely blew out our levels. You ever sneeze so hard it like fucks up your throat? Like it like it jars your throat out of place? No, I know. I I have self-control. I have so many different things flying through my head that I want to talk about right now. I don't know what to do first. I'm like a kid. Let's start this fucking podcast because we've been pussyfooting around and we have not been focused at all. We've just been two whirling dervishes spinning around saying whatever we want, whenever we want. We're just so thrilled to be working together again. But uh, uh, truth of the matter is I've had a Red Bull. I don't know what you're on. Uh, pure uh, South Asian adrenaline. Some Maybe you smoked some of the Hindu uh, hashish. That is your people's. Backed up jizz, I, get, I think. Yeah. No, the- jizz gets me going. That's a that's a huge, like, if I, if I don't crank it, for at least a couple of days, I, it backs up, obviously, and it, it's like a life force. It, like, courses through me, and it, like, supplants my blood, and it, it's, like, it's like when you're a race car driver and you put nitrous oxide into your engine, mm-hmm. and it makes it go faster. Yeah. That's what jizz does to my body. There. It's good that you bring up race car driving, because as we both know, you and I are both race car drivers, and everyone who listens is as well. You bring these things up, but no one knows how to relate to them, and that's why I doubt things when you say them. Similar to, 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 God damn it, to, where the fuck is it? I didn't get sick at all. Are you, are you about, to, you know, are you about to tell uh, a story I, about your uh, grandfather Shlomo? I didn't is that why you started stuttering? My or? grandfather's name is not Shlomo Imran. Oh, but his the young boy who was killed may have been, his name may have been Shlomo. By the way, I got my mom to clarify the story. It wasn't a train, yeah, it was please. a trolley. <laughs> Wait, this kid really got killed by a trolley? Yeah. Why are you laughing, Imran? <laughs> what the fuck were they doing playing at the tracks, man? I don't know, but why doing? are you laughing? Shlomo was pulverized by a vehicle in front of my deceased grandfather. And you can't stop laughing. Imran Sheikh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. This is some good, shitty, copyright-free music we're listening to. Mmm. You feel that? that Listen to that dead, fucking baby. garbage. Jesus. Mmm. All right, I can't take it anymore. My ears are going to get fucking AIDS. Well, listen, while I was waiting right, for you for an hour and ten minutes, I'm like, all right, well, let me find some more music. When you go to the wienershakeshow.com, there is an option to connect with us. If you'll excuse me, I'm just going to eat some elfin crackers. I am in the middle of talking. Go ahead, talk, Poppy. It must have been a nightmare to raise. You must have been an absolute nightmare to raise. Greg, why aren't you talking? You have the floor. I see the floor to you, Mr. Wiener. Okay. I hope you're I hope you're ready for this cuz that 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 word that you don't like is peppered through this listener letter. No, now, it, you it, can it, either it, stop it, it, it will behaving be like a fucking petulant little crazy child and listen to me. Can or I tell I'll my say the word over and over again? Can I tell my tubular belt story? No. No. 
Absolutely not. I got to put right. my foot down. We got to stay on track. This letter comes from Duckman, who you, Imran, told off in episode 22 when I read you comments he made about using the N word. Let's hear what he has to say now, Imran. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's hey, go. fellas. I just wanted to clarify something, mainly for blank, blank, Imran. Greg mentioned Imran. my comment regarding my suggestion about cutting the N word sound drops. I want to make it clear that the reason I made the suggestion has nothing to do with it possibly offending anyone, okay? The suggestion okay. was purely out of appreciation for your humor and chemistry. I felt that the sound drop sounded like a cheap attempt to be funny and blue. It just didn't fit. I'd have no issue with you dropping the N-bomb live if you chose to do so in the moment. But it sounded like scatological filler for filler's sake. It stuck out like a sore thumb. Thank you, Imran. I did. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Hold on. I believe Imran got the wrong impression and thought perhaps I was being a snowflake about the N-word. This was not my intention. I just wanted to clarify that the quote unquote fuck man has nothing but love for your podcast. <laughs> and I am 100% anti-censorship. <laughs> Drop all the N-bombs you want. The sound bites were what I was referring to. Also, a foghorn and an air horn are completely different. To go with one of your analogies, is a violin the same as a guitar? Simply because both have strings. Are Muslims the same as Buddhists? Simply because they're both Southeast Asian in origin? Is an IED the same as a Claymore mine? Because they both go boom. Is a bagel the same as a muffin? You guys are awesome. Uh, we got, we got hold on, we hold on. It. You guys are awesome, and the podcast is getting better and better every single show. Mad, mad love. Your rebuttal. Love. Your rebuttal. Asshole. You want me to rebut this son bitch? Let's go. All right, Chaco. Chaco? Right. For, yeah, you heard me. I, uh, do first me a favor. First. Podcast with your mouth uh, empty of food. <laughs> okay, no one wants to hear you talking through fucking crumbs of whatever f horrible curry sandwich you had. <laughs> It's curry crackers. Listen, listen, fuck man. I doubt you either fuck or a man. So wow. right off the bat, go after yourself. You just got insulted. Number two, a violin. That's a dick. A violin and a guitar. What he's trying to say is that the violin girl left me for a dude that plays guitar, which is my working theory at the moment. So you know what? That's a low blow. That shows how low class you are. Wow. So I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. Foghorn versus air horn. We're talking about two specialized things that are canisters cylindrical through which air passes and creates a bassy sound you don't even know what the fuck a foghorn looks like so you're damn right you you're did. wrong yeah no i'm right listen fuck man's message was so boring and corny <laughs> i don't even remember the rest of it i don't well, even know what to rebut because it flew out of my brain so quickly it was of so inconsequence well you were barely listening to it because you were in the middle of eating your curry sandwich and crunching it just to to combat the letter, which you knew out of the gate was 100% anti-Imran. It wasn't biased. Bias. It wasn't biased. biased. It just disagreed it with you. Biased. It's this, someone's opinion. This, How is that biased? This dude is clearly a racist, has an issue with South Asians, as mentioned by his Buddhist Muslim connection. Um, so you didn't listen to us it. out. I listened to, I mean, I listened to what I could. And then my brain was like, dude, we're losing brain cells here. Let's, let's get rid of this one. You know what I mean? You think well, you're smarter well, than most bullshit. people. <gasps> you think you're smarter than a lot of people. I hate to be real here right now, but we do roll organic. Do you know that I, I am constantly listening to this, all these podcasts, and I hear little intonations and, and little things that, that most people wouldn't hear, mainly because <laughs> when people listen to podcasts, they're probably playing a game or driving or they're eating and they're kind of listening, but they kind of have it on in the background. Fucking. Fucking, sure, oh, sucking. Fucking. Yeah. I hear you. I hear thing. you think you're smarter than me. You know that, right? I don't I don't think I'm smarter I than you. I hear sure. it. I swear to Too God, I things. hear it. That's your own bias, Wiener. That's not me, Gleg. Come on now. I don't think I'm smart. I don't think I'm a smart person, to be honest. I think anything it's when you argue. It's hard when work. you argue. It's like when you you think you're right, you you say these little things, you slip them in and maybe I take it personal because I'm not as smart as you. And I am a little threatened. I think you're highly intelligent. So that's the only thing I'm threatened by with you. 
And sometimes I think you're funnier than me. You're quicker. No, I think you're quicker than me. Do you? You're, you're, con- you're much better at improv than I am. Your connection sucks again, by the way. Oh, for fuck's sake. What do you want me to do? I'm getting hot. I'm getting real hot. It's getting real hot. Why do you get hot it's- about a connection that's bad? Why, does the, why do you think that, that you're entitled he- to have a great connection? What have you done to make sure you have a good you're- connection, Imran? Let me tell you something. Teenage Imran sitting in his goddamn parents' ba- uh, basement trying to download porn. On a modem, Greg. On a modem. Poor soul. You know, you know how much it sucks. You know how much it sucks to wait forty-five minutes to download two minutes of porn and to find out it's a chick with a dick. That's the worst <laughs> fucking feeling in the world, Greg. Wait so when I get <laughs> when I get a breakup in internet connection, it sets me the fuck off because it reminds me of that teenager, dick in hand, veins popping out of his fucking neck, his dick, and then all of a sudden he's ready to go, he's ready to go 45 minutes, he's been waiting, he's been primed, pumped, ready to go, jizz, just back the fuck up, coming out of his goddamn eyeballs for the love of fuck. And then next thing you know, it's a dude with like titties, and it's like, I can't get off on this. And you jerk off to it anyway, Craig, all right? Cause, Cause you waited that much, and next thing you know, you're into chicks with dicks. That's why I get pissed off. Now you're breaking up again. And I love this song. Now you're breaking up. Now you're totally breaking up. I don't understand why we're having such bad fucking connection. Uh, is there somebody in your house? I don't know what to tell you, man. Screaming? I'm at 100 megahertz. Everyone's a fucking sweep. How many fucking people live in that hovel? No offense. <laughs> ten. They're all, no, they're ten. They're all migrant workers. Uh, so you think that uh, the listeners' feedback, we'll call it, was mind numbingly bad and you really Boring. didn't put any energy into it. you were bored trash okay trash from trash person what, wow what was that last thing this person fuck said? man what was the last is a thing trash person? that was a dick trash person huh i got a dick there was a dig that i'm not gonna call him fuck man i'm gonna call him loser boy loser boy got in a dig the last sentence was a dig i can't remember what it was can yeah. you read it back for us absolutely you guys are awesome and the podcast is getting better and better every single show Mad, mad love. No, was it, there was something before that. That was it. The, the fake. Phony. Because he knows. Because loser boy knows. Or I, I shouldn't call him loser. I'll call him sexless boy. Sexless boy <laughs> knows that he dropped the turd on, on the sidekick. And so he's trying to butter you up. Because he knows. He knows. Greg, you got a little bit of an ego. Wow. You stroke you. Stroke you. Stroke you under your chin a little bit. And you're purring like a, a cat, basically. I got a um, little bit of an ego, say? huh? That's not true. That's not true. No, it's actually not true. Greg is actually a very humble person. I'm extremely humble. That's part of what makes me so great. It's what makes you an empath. That as well. Listen, we haven't, Um, uh, we've taken 46 minutes to say nothing. Okay, well then, all right, let's get the cotton going. I got got tons of cotton ready to go. Is it, when you say fuck's sake, for, you know, like, oh. For For fuck's sake, sake, yeah. Are you saying, are you saying fuck apostrophe s or are you saying fucks like the plural there's many fucks what are you saying is this your content for <laughs> fuck sake or for fucks sake no and that kind of sets me off too i want to talk about this i had a teacher in class in high school they were really cool about it they were jesuits that's why they were really cool and they were like if you're not yeah imran um, just talking about nothing for a change yeah I, go ahead Go ahead. Uh, There was one teacher who wasn't a very attractive woman. At least I wasn't attracted to her, but that's not the point. Because I'm a Muslim, uh, no shocker there. Like, I'm an actual, I consider myself a practicing Muslim, and I was at the time. Did you practice today? uh, Were you down uh, in camel pose at 5 o'clock for the, uh, on your yoga mat? No, camel pose is actually at 2 o'clock. In the afternoon, I didn't have time to do that one. Five o'clock is the uh, the we call it the blind turban. That's when you wrap a turban around your face, dunk your head in a toilet. I don't know. Go ahead. It's only three o'clock. Go ahead. Let's call her Mrs. Dick and Pants, right? Oh, was she a trainee as well? She might as well have been. That's how non I was turned on by her. Well, you did so just admit to like, jerking off to chicks with dick porn because you'd waited around 20 minutes for 
your internet to download to? a fucking clip for porn and you got your dick in your hand all of a sudden you're looking at a chick with a dick you got a car and drive what are you gonna do you can't just throw it into park you have to ease it into park or you just pull up your pants and you say well no no i'll get them next time no no, no? there was no getting anybody next time Greg. how I many mean, times have you jerked off I, to trainees i'm not gonna wait and run Please just tell that the court, one fucking court. time. Right. Did you complete? Well, they're very beautiful sometimes. Yes, I did complete. Obviously, we've all seen tranny porn, I'm assuming, right? I mean, you can't help, like, one, flicking yeah, around mean, and be like, what the fuck is that? And all of a sudden, there's a tree trunk downstairs, as opposed to a giant I'm giant. Not, I'm not going to lie. I'm constantly paranoid that I'm matching with trannies. And I, again, I am not hateful. I don't care if you're a transsexual. Good for you. In fact, I, I'm happy that you're able to get, you know, what you need. To, to express your gender as you see fit. You know? Totally happy with that. But I'm constantly... No, because there was, no. I was with a chick. I was with a... Uh, if you recall, frat girl, she told me that she had a friend who's a transsexual. And she was like, I, could, I didn't even know this dude was a transsexual. Or no, it was a woman. Uh, a man who became a woman. And she was like, I couldn't even tell. Like, she, was, she is gorgeous. And she was like, she literally goes on Tinder, gets guys to come over, has sex with them, and never tells them that she's All a right, transsexual. hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. There's trannies out there that don't want to tell you that they're trannies. Okay, but how are you supposed to have sex with this person without knowing that they're a tranny? Have they taken their dicks off yet? Well, yeah. Uh, obviously, they're post-op if you're sticking a wet... I mean, okay, this is a true story. This is a true story. There was a, there was a case some years ago where a man sued a, another man... <laughs> for pretending to be a woman for five years. I think I remember. And one. they were together, right? Yeah. Wow. Would you... All right. Here's a... No, anyway, but back to the trend. We'll get to that, but... Oh, what okay. It, yeah. What, uh, right. Please tell me, what, what are we talking about next? You know, there can just, only be I one host. I'm you know about. that, right? Huh? No, I'm continuing the tranny thread. We, we yeah, came no, off I want to ask thread. you, bring... what would you do if you went out? And I know you're paranoid of trannies on Tinder. And th just, that'll be the uh, name of the episode. Yeah. That'll be the name of the episode. Trannies on Tinder. No, you know what I wanted the name to be, honestly? <sighs> do well. Imran's dream of electric violinist. I think that's such a funny, fun, beautiful title. Do, that's and not homage. even a functioning sentence. What do you mean that's not a functioning sentence? Do, uh, what? What What did you just say? Well, maybe, see, your problem lies within you not listening. Do Imran's dream of electric violinist. It's a play on do Android's dream of electric sheep, which became Blade Runner. Okay, Imran, listen. I'm glad we recorded all that. And we have to take a break now, and I, for two reasons. One, I have to stand. Two, we have to save that. And three, I think you need to step back from this right now and think about what you've just done and said. Okay. What did I just say? That last sentence doesn't make sense, and you said it twice. So try it. it doesn't... Give it. Give it a. Give it a go again. Do Imran's dream of electric violinist, which is based on or Blade it's a Runner. Pun, of Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which is the title of a book written by Philip K. Dick, which was adapted into Blade Runner. You were going to ask me a question. What was your question? You're right. I, I'm sorry. I, I got a little too big for my bridges. Please ask me your question. I want you to be dumber when we're recording. What was your question? If I have ever slept with a tranny, then didn't... No. Or, or if I... What, what was it? What was it? What no, was no, it? no. Please continue this guessing no. game. It's, it's a theme of yours. You like to... If, I wanted. I was going to give you yeah. a, a hypothetical, uh, please, please. but we got to do that. We got to do that on the other side of this. All right, that's fine. Yeah, this is the uh, Greg Weiner uh, Podcasting Network, and this is the <laughs> Weiner Shake Show on the Greg Weiner Podcasting Network. Hey y'all, um, my name is Dick Jones, and these motherfuckers only let me get on this podcast every once in a while. So I just stole up on this computer. And I edited in this little commercial so these punk ass bitches wouldn't know until this motherfucker ad. So what up, what up, what up, y'all? My name is Dick Jones and uh, oh shit, that's Greg Cocon. Okay, all right, this be our little secret, bitches. I got a hot pocket mm -hmm. cooking in the microwave. I got I opened a brand. Hot I pocket. I just cracked a fresh cold core water, pH balanced, seven point four pH, Imran. I gotta go get my hot pocket. Go ahead, take over. I'm recording. 
Oh my god, it's about time. All right, here's the deal, guys. This hot pocket bullshit is not real. Greg's doing a bunch of bumps off uh, what looks like a, a prostitute to me. His drug habit is accelerating quicker than anyone would like. And I'm a little relieved because this show will be mine and you and I get to go off on whatever. Oh, welcome back, Greg. How are you? Hey. I'm not waiting the prescribed two minutes for the hot pocket to cool down. I got the fork and knife and I'm just ready to go in for the kill. Well, it's not going to be good. And then you're going to blame it on the good people who make hot pockets. Why won't it be good? Well, it's going to be a little extra hot, right? Because it's not cooled down. Things haven't gelled. Things haven't jived together. Right. It's a chemical I'll it balance. Go. I'll leave it go. Hey, Siri, set a timer for one minute and 45 seconds. Set it yourself, you piece of shit. 45 seconds. She's Australian. Australian, you dipshit. Can you do an Aussie accent? That's not oh, bad, that's... actually. That was, imp- that was pretty good. Are there Pakistanis in uh, the Australian Pakistanis? Oh, a ton. A ton. I think it's time for me to eat this hot pocket, frankly. Aussies, yeah, man, uh, eat that shit, baby. Oh, shit, it's Dick Jones. What's up, Dick? Hey, hey man. Dick. Oh, you brought out the food, so I figure I'll waddle my big old black ass out and sniff so what you're, you're cooking. So you're black. You're an Afri- Afro-American. Yeah, come on, man. The jig's up. Everybody know I'm an African-American. I was just trying to prove a point. What's that point, Dick Jones? Don't judge a black-ass book by its black-ass cover. Now put that hot pocket in your mouth, Greg Wiener. Eat that shit, boy. Okay. Dick, do you mm. get off on watching people eat? Are you a feeder? Man. You can you can talk while Greg chews, Dick. You don't have to wait for no, him. No, man. He put that shit in my mouth because you know what good for him. I did. I gave him the first bite of the hot pocket. Oh, that's damn good, baby. You cooked it the right length in the earth thing. All right. All right. Oh, there goes the uh, timer. All right, Dick Jones, why don't you hit the fucking rope? All right, but you know that y'all rolled my coattails on that last episode. The only reason that shit's burning up on the internet waves is because I brought the pain, Nara. Okay. <laughs> what was it? Nara? Nora? Did you just Norma. call it? No, he called Norma. us Norma. Thanks, Dick. Uh, thanks All right, a I'm going to go Dick. back in, in the bedroom. When you're ready, I need my feet rubbed. Oh, that's dis- okay, Dick. That's disgusting. No offense, Dick, but that's disgusting. So's your, your anal warts, little poon jab motherfucker. Well, well, a wart of any kind, regardless of where it is on the body, is disgusting. That's like saying, yeah, your fucking flowers are beautiful. Yeah. So what were you saying while I was away? Hmm, nothing. Don't worry about it. So you had a question for me regarding transsexuals. Yeah, so you've got this fear on Tinder that you're going to meet up with a, a tranny and you won't know it and then all of a sudden you're gonna would you if okay Mm. we'll go far back into the annals of the wiener shake show you're talking to this girl on tinder man you guys hit it off you are gelling in a way that you have never gelled with jane doe the violinist nobody you really connect you go out you finally meet at your favorite restaurant or bar whatever your first date place is she's gorgeous she checks every box and the problem is i like uh, like angular features you know manly features i'm not good yeah i would say so okay Fine. You know, we all have our tastes. Whatever. No, not like a fucking strong jaw. I'm talking about like, you know, like 1980s model, you know, like, uh, like the, 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 um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The 1980s model, of course, that was very clear. (laughs) So you guys have a drink and in person, the chemistry is even more through the roof. I think you know where this is heading. So you're probably preparing a shtick, but I want you to answer truthfully. No, I I will. What would you do if after the drink? Drink, you guys, you know, light petting on the knees and, you know, you yeah. grab her hand a little bit and, you know, you feel, uh, you know, knuckles that are a little bigger than you would have expected on a dainty girl. But she's not, wow. she's not dainty. She's like 5'10", big boned, strong facial features, but still gorgeous and totally passable. Watch out. This road's got curves. She says, listen, Imran, I have a penis. <laughs> I have one too, baby. Oh, you're serious. Falling, you've fallen for her. You've texted. I mean, you guys have been talking on the phone. You've fallen oh. for her. What do you do? Your heart. 
We haven't we haven't done whoopee yet. No, this is your first date, and she tells you in person. She's saying, "Listen, I have to I have to tell you this. I have to disclose this to I've you. I've got to get this out of the way before we continue falling even deeper in love." You've almost said "I love you" a few times on the phone. You wanted to say it to her as soon as you saw her. I don't talk to women on the phone. I don't do that. What? I don't do I don't talk to women on the phone. I don't do that. All right. Well, you talk to this woman, quote unquote. That's how that's how incredible it was, huh? Yeah. What do you do? I, you know. No, I think Violin Girl wanted me to talk to her on the phone. No, I, I seriously don't like talking on the phone with women. Why? Usually there's bad reception in a kitchen, if you know what I mean. Oh, when they're in the kitchen? Yeah. No, it's just, it's kind of, I, I don't mind if we're in a relationship. Obviously, then it's pretty cool. But, but just dating-wise, I don't want them to get the wrong idea. I don't want them to think that they're locking anything down. I could go at any moment. I'm ready to go. I got a bug out bag. You know what I mean? You got a bug out bag? Yeah, a bug out bag. It's it's what you, a bug out bag is a bag where you store first aid, food rations, uh, first aid. And if you have to leave town because there's an evacuation or emergency, God forbid, uh, it's called a bug out. A bug out. You bug out. That's what, you know, people do. Okay. All right. And the forces tangent, on for- so, tangent ended. Well, She's well, got you, a dick. And I know, you're I'm in love back with her. To it. She's got a dick. You're in love with her. What do you do? Well, the problem. I'm going to take another bite of this hot pocket. Yeah, you are, baby. Eat that thing quick, mama. Oh, don't call me mama, Dick. Hey, don't, don't do that, Dick. Jesus Christ. Let's respect people's gender identities, Dick. Please. Okay, man. I'm Thank sorry. you. I- I'm sorry. I just had to come over here and sniff that pocket, man. That's a good smelling pocket, Greg. Thanks, Dick give- Jones. Can you give this hungry motherfucker another bite, yeah, Greg, here. please? This is the last bite. All right, thank you, man. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Wow, you're running out of breath there, Dick. Oh, that, that pepperoni and cheese. I love it, man. Thank you so much. All right, Dick. Hit the road. All right, come on, Dick. All right. Hit the, hit the bricks, kid. All right, thank you for having me again on the Wiener Shake Show, baby. You're welcome. All right. You're welcome. Bye, Camel. <laughs> Just got to get that one last fucking shot in. All right, continue. Sorry. Are, you're not going to try to say the N-word before you leave Dick Jones? Yeah, I thought so. No, he's not. Dick's got principle. Um, At least somebody I, does. I know. If I, if I fall in... It, it, see, you fucked up the scenario, Greg. Why? Because you should have had us have sex. Because if we haven't consummated, it's easy for me to... Well, that's not true. I'm, I'm, being, I'm not being true. I, I would be a bummer, but I would say in the moment... Okay, let's play this out. In the moment, I'd be like, oh, okay. Well, I I wasn't expecting that. Don't take this the wrong way, but you're very beautiful. And I, I, you know, because I cannot be with her then. Oh, that's such a shitty thing to say, but it's true. I don't want to be with a transsexual. I want to be with a woman. And does that make me a a, a transphobe, I guess? No. I don't know. You want to be with a woman because you like vagina. You don't want dick. That's sexually, physically, that doesn't do it for me. And I feel that's a very important I know you don't agree with this but I feel sex is a very important part of a relationship you said I don't agree about sex being an important part of the relationship right because you're not having any with Tom Hanks Imran I've repeatedly told you that was a joke right you're the fact that you refer to her as your girlfriend is a joke ha 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 but the truth of the matter is you're in a relationship a sexless relationship with her you're I've told really you just- repeatedly that we've actually had sex we had sex two weeks after we started dating on my father's grave who's dead which is how we got into the grave I deleted the Schindler's List uh, bed by accident so it's the next one up (laughs) wait oh no I didn't here it is how are we gonna use this here it is here it is. I'm swearing on my father's grave. Don't do not do that, man. That me and Tom Hanks, a.k.a. Don't say her name either. My girlfriend. Oh, okay. The love of my life. We had sex two weeks after we started dating. I you know, know it's a fact. Shit, right? You know it's a fact now. It's a no, fact. No, it's not a fact. It's not it a fact. It is. You're and, and. Damn, son. You just hit with a wow effect. <laughs> What the fuck does that sound drop mean? Imran, it's a fact. Let me ask you this. What? If you went out, what if Tom Hanks yep. tomorrow, Yeah. and let's assume in this scenario that you have had sex with Tom Hanks and it's fantastic and it's wonderful. Mm-hmm. And she says, Greg, uh, I'm so sorry. I've been keeping this from you 
I am I was a man once. I am now a woman as you see fit. Obviously I'm post op. Uh how would you feel about that? <sighs> <laughs> this music really does help them set the mood. I think that music is the answer. I, I, I think, I think yeah. we could just end it there. I yeah. think the, yeah. Here we go. All right. Well, all right. That's the podcast. Oh, you know. That's a wrap. Yeah. Uh, so I gotta. I got to yank a real tight, you know, the tired yanks are the most frustrating. Ones oh, they are. You could just go on and on and on for fucking forever, right? Oh, I start falling. I start like blacking out. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Imran tells us once again how he's going to jerk off that I to get to bed. He hopes he doesn't black out. Yeah. Hey. hey. Damn, son. Hey. You just hit with the wow effect. Wow effect. All right. Yeah. All right. I don't, I don't want to interrupt the bit here, bit here, but is this like a new character? Is this like a porn, like a strip club DJ character that I should know about? Because I've been treating it as just you being a weirdo, but I guess it's a, a full-on character, huh? Yeah, that's right. Hey, it's the new character. He likes to... It's kind of a based off of your uh, thing that you did where you integrated... DJs. 101.5 yeah. The Rock. Yeah, but you didn't have any music under you. Now I've got the music and I'm going crazy. The music's kind of inspiring it, but it's also, yeah. I just want to say, yeah. Now listen to Imran talk about jerking off. Yeah. That was perfect. Uh, you, could, you couldn't time, you I, couldn't have timed that. Though. Listen, it's a skill that I have. I didn't want it, but God gave it to me. So, damn, son, you just hit with the wow effect. <laughs> Did you figure out yet what what happened when you said this? I didn't get sick at all. <laughs> Can you explain that yet? I was churning that in my head the other day, and I was. It's not even like a mistake. It's like clearly. It, it's with purpose. I pluralize yeah. it with purpose. No, there was no purpose behind it. I think it's just you thought you were talking right. No, no, that's what I mean. It, it's like it's it's done with such intention and purpose that it was. It's a glitch. It's a glitch. My brain glitched. I glitched out. All right, man. Speaking of glitching out. Wait, do you think Elon Musk is a genius? Yay or nay? Yay. Now explain why. Um, just based on a lot of, his ideas. A lot of people say no. Why? I think his genius lies with his ability to marshal people together to do impossible things. Like he's a genius at leadership and uh, bringing about results. Much like Steve Jobs, not a particularly genius man. Like when it came to engineering or anything like that, he just was a genius as far as vision. And getting people to fulfill that vision. I strongly agree with that statement. I was thinking of Steve Jobs okay, as you were talking. So is that yeah. good? Will that help you get to bed now? Little Imran? Oh, God damn it. Why can't I say the, the, the word? Because I, I hate... There's literally only one person in the world who are allowed to say it to me. Um, and I, I honestly... Which is why I flip out because it's like, it's like the prison thing, you know. When you're when you're in prison, if you wanna if you wanna survive, you punch the the you gotta act crazy and you punch the toughest guy there so that nobody fucks with you. So when someone says that name, I I have to overreact in order to keep people from not doing it. Because again, going back to me, you know, I'm a goofy guy. I I, I do anything for a laugh, you know, especially self deprecation and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I'm all for that. I don't. Feel Feel bad about that but this is the one thing where i draw the line and, and and the only way i can get people to really believe me about it really bugging me is by overreacting yeah so that's it yeah so there's no real sentimental thing about it it's just no there is because uh uh jackie was my first true love actually did she take your v card she didn't know it no she, no 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 she, she, when I, literally the day I was about to tell her that I was in love with her, she came out. <laughs> what? It was the worst day of my life. But also the greatest because then we became really good friends. How long were you together? 
we were never together. We didn't date. We just worked together and we were really good friends. Oh, well, we weren't really good friends, but I just had this incredible crush on her. And then literally, I'm like ready to go. I'm ready to go. And I remember exactly where I was. I was in New Brunswick, New Jersey. I was in a house mm -hmm. uh, for the summer. Mm -hmm. um, and I was with Adam the cat. Oh, yeah. And Adam. I get a knock at the door. I get a knock at the door. I go to the door. And Dave Paselli was with her, uh, another friend from high school. And she was like, look, I'm just coming around. I'm telling you because Dave Was she going door to door telling people? No, she was going to... Yeah, she was knocking on <laughs> local houses. No, she... she Because Dave, Dave w was out already, obviously, and he was helping her come out. And he said, one of the things you have to do as part of coming out is you have to tell people who are close to you that you're gay. And even if they know or don't know, that's not the point. The point is that you come out to them and you show your true self to them. It's a very, very heart, heartfelt thing. And, and it's an honor, I think, that she chose me as one of the people to tell, right? Yeah. So she came and she knocked on the door and she said, Dave was with her and she was like, I have something to tell you. And I'm not going to lie, my heart skipped a beat and I thought she was going to say, I love you. That she liked me. I love you. And, 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 but I also, you know, you know these things, right? The universe, you, we're perceptive people, beings. But I also knew that cannot be it. There's something else that she's going to tell me. But there was a tinge of hope that she was going to say, I I love you and, or I like you whatever uh, and then a little bit of a difference I guess but but then just then she goes just a skosh of a difference not much just, and she she goes uh, I'm gay and uh, my heart sank I was I was distraught uh, to say the least but obviously I had to put on a good face and, mm -hmm. and I congratulated her and I said that's awesome and you, can, you said congratulations I think so I think I was like congrats uh, and I was like no that's great like kudos to you and uh, I, I hope it, this works out for you and uh, no I was like this is great this is great good job and uh, I don't think I realized at the time that it was uh, an honor to be told and so I was just like that's good for you I hugged her and then um, and then I was smiling 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 and then they were like alright we're gonna go talk to someone else and I was like, all right. And so as as I closed the door, tears started rolling Jesus down. Christ. And as soon as I locked the door, I was just crying. And then I and then I went and sat down, picked up the uh, cat that I was living with, Adam. <laughs> and Adam looked up to me and I was like, Adam, what's going on, man? What, what's the universe trying to tell me? And Adam uh, curled up his fist and punched me in the face. Adam the cat punched you in the Adam, face. Adam the, ca uh, the cat balled up his little tiny paw and yeah. punched me in the face with his paw. And it wasn't a tap, it wasn't a whap, it was a full force, balled up, paw, punch. Why do you cry so often? Do you cry a lot? Did you cry today, Imran? Tell us now. Did, when did we become a smooth jazz I don't know, man. radio show? <laughs> I cried, honestly, I cried when Harvard Law dumped me. I, I know. Cried. That's why I'm bringing it up again, because is it immediate? Is it I'm breaking up with you? It's over. Goodbye. Hang up the phone, walk out the door, close the door, and then the tears just come? No. Uh, when I broke up with Jane Doe, I cried a lot. That was the most I've ever cried in my life. And then then after that, I cried when uh, Violin Girl dumped me several times. So over several weeks, I cried. And then and then when Harvard Law dumped me, I, I cried. That was, that one was a brief like it was kind of a welling up. I mean, there was a tear that fell, but it was more of a welling up. I'd say it wasn't so much a full cry. I think I wanted to cry, but my body was like, motherfucker, calm your ass down. It's only been two dates, man. You brush it off. Two dates. I, I fell for Harvard Law. Law, real, real hard, man. She was perfect. She was great. She was smart. She was super, super fucking smart. What did she look Maybe. like? Because I'm curious what your type is. I mean, I've seen Violin Girl. Someone had once compared her to this famous painting called Madame X. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good compare. I'm trying to think. She kind of... Can you just send me a picture? Like, what, what, no. what are we dilly-dallying around here? What do you think I'm going to do with it? She's a mix between Famke Jensen and Sophie Turner, I'd say. Very beautiful, very smart, so smart. She went to England for a summer to research the bubonic plague. So did I. I mean, that's... I've done that, too. Oh, did you? What did you... How did they... How did... Uh, I'm curious, because we never got to talk about this, Harvard Law and I, but how did they end up curing 
uh, the bubonic plague. Well, they didn't. Right? They came up with a. Um, uh, uh, yeah. A. Uh, they came up with a serum that would. Um, right. What would it do? Okay, check it out. Fuck! Shut up, Siri. <laughs> And thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah. Please rate and review. Yeah, in the toilet. That's where this episode belongs. It may join the likes of the Lost 22 episode. Well, it's in it's in good company then. <laughs> you know, oh, eventually we can... Oh, God. Please turn it off. Eventually we're gonna have to watch. By the way, I know I know you thought it was very kitschy and fun, but every time you played that, I literally wanted to fucking punch a hole in a wall. Good, I wanna rile you up. We did enough with the riling up. I think we're better when I'm more chipper and happy. Just like what you texted to me yesterday. What did I text you? Do you want a depressed, miserable Imran? <laughs> or do you, do you want a happy, positive Imran? Yeah. So. Self-defeating, I think, was, was one of the terms. Mm. I can barely keep my eyes open right now. Why are we continuing to talk to each other when all we want to do is go to bed? All right, Let's I gotta, do the sign-off. What do I have to do? I have to jerk off? First off. All right. Later, bitches. Bye. Bye. This is a production of Greg Wiener Productions, Inc. and Hollow Spirit Studios. Go to their website, hollowspiritstudios.com. Please rate, review, subscribe, and share. And to reach out to Greg Wiener or Imran Shake, feel free to message us at The Wiener Shake Show on our Facebook page. Or call 302-RAW-DONG. That's 302-729-3664. Thank you again for listening to The Wiener Shake Show. I'm Oprah Wiener.